Good morning, everybody. Super Jack Zero One here. Now it's time for the video that you've all been waiting for. And this is a video I've been wanting to do for probably more than three years now. But I've never been able to do it because I didn't have all the titles. But now I can finally do it. My entire Pixar Blu ray collection, which I got quite a few items. I got 27 items. I got 22 feature films as well as three short film compilations and two television specials so let's go ahead and just get started right away and uh we're going to show i'm going to show these all in order their theatrical release dates i'll tell you when they came out and i'll even tell you where i got them and when the blu-rays came out so let's get let's go ahead and start get started first up we got toy story this is the very first Pixar film that was ever made, being released in November of 1995. And this Blu-ray came out on March 23rd, 2010. It was uh, released to promote Toy Story 3, which was coming to theaters that summer. And this is my all-time favorite Disney Pixar film. And I got this Blu-ray off of Disney Movie Rewards back in... Um, um, July of 2016, so I've had this Blu-ray for about four years now, but I only got the case. The slipcover did not come with the with the Blu-ray. I ordered the slipcover off of Blu-rays for everyone, which then it came in the mail, and it fits. Anyway, as you can see, here's the spine. Back, two thumbs up, way up for Toy Story Save by Siskel and Ebert. Most features, the Blu-ray has a new sneak peek at Toy Story 3, the story. New Buzz Lightyear mission logs blast off three animated studio stories. Buzz takes Manhattan, making Toy Story. Filmmakers reflect to leave scenes and design galleries and over 90 minutes of more bonus. And the DVD pretty much has most of those bonus features up until the Buzz takes Manhattan. I'm going to open this up. So when I got the Blu-ray in the mail from Disney Movie Rewards, it came like this. I then ordered the slipcover later. Here we got the Disney Movie Rewards code. Here's the Blu-ray disc, which has Woody and Buzz. And here's the DVD disc, which has the same characters. Yeah, but still, this Blu-ray of Toy Story is excellent indeed. So yeah, definitely recommend you check out Toy Story if you haven't. But I'm pretty sure everybody watching this video has seen Toy Story. All right. And the second Pixar film released was A Bug's Life. This was released in theaters in November of 1998. And this Blu-ray came out May 19th, 2009. I guess it was released to promote Up, which was coming to theaters 10, 10 days later. Inside here, there was like a free movie ticket code for Up, which obviously expired uh, years after I got this. I got this Blu-ray off of... I also got this off of Disney Movie Rewards. I got it off of Disney Movie Rewards back in July 2014. So I've had this Blu-ray for, for about six years now. can't believe it's already been that long. And uh, unlike the Toy Story 1 Blu-ray, this Blu-ray, the slipcover was already included. Yep. I do like this cover a lot better than uh, the later versions that happened. This is the Blu-ray and digital copy version. Here we got the spine. And the back end, there's no critic review on the back. As long as you just new on Blu-ray only bonus features, A Bug's Life, the first draft of all new never foreseen animation sequences from the original story treatment with introduction by uh, director John Lasseter. And filmmakers are on table. Filmmakers reflect on the creation of the film. It also includes the Jerry's Game short film, director audio commentary, behind the scenes of A Bug's Life, A Walt Disney Silly Symphony, Grasshopper in the End, Outtakes, and much more. There's a, we're going to open this up. There's a lot of inserts in here. we got the Disney Movie Awards code, and it's got this thing for the free movie ticket for Up, which obviously expired long ago. Up came out to theaters uh, 10 days after this Blu-ray came out, and then we got a thing for Blu-ray, and this thing, it's blank. Anyway, here we got the Blu-ray disc with the movie, which has Flick, uh, Dot, Heimlich, and Francis. And then here's the digital copy, which has Flick and Dot. And I know you can also see me recording here. I'm going to take the disc art out because there's some artwork. Yep. And on the Blu-ray, before the movie begins, there's an introduction by John Lasseter. It's 
still this Blu-ray of A Bug's Life is very good. And A Bug's Life, despite not really getting a lot of uh, attention and not many people are, aren't too crazy about this movie, I actually like it. It's my second favorite Pixar film behind the first Toy Story. All right, and the next Pixar film released was Toy Story 2. This came out in theaters in November of 1999, and this Blu-ray was released March 23rd, 2010, the same day that the, uh, the Blu-ray of the first Toy Story came out. Like I said, these were released a few months before Toy Story 3 was opening in theaters. And just like the Toy Story and A Bug's Life Blu-ray, I also got this Blu-ray off of Disney Movie Rewards. I got this off of Disney Movie Rewards back in late June, early July of 2018. And just like the first Toy Story Blu-ray, this, this did not come with the slipcover. Um, initially, just when I got it in the mail, it just came like this. And when I showed this Blu-ray in the update back in 2018, I, it actually I actually showed you it didn't come with a slipcover. But then about last year in June, uh, I ordered, uh, apparently somebody on eBay was selling just the slipcover for this. So obviously, I couldn't pass it up, so I ordered the slipcover from eBay and it came in the mail. And it fits perfectly. Yep. Anyway, as you can see, here's the spine. Back. The toys are back with even more hilarious vengeance said by Dustin Thompson in the Washington Post. I just got all new Toy Story 3 sneak peek. The characters, new Buzz Lightyear mission logs, International Space Station, three M8 studio stories, new Pixar Zoe trope, making Toy Story 2, Toy Story outtakes and alternate scenes, deleted scenes and design galleries, and over six minutes more bonus, and then the DVD has most of those bonus features. There's also a little behind the scenes, like, you know, a memoir about the late Joe Ramft, which is actually pretty cool. Here we have the Disney Rewards code. Here's the Blu-ray disc, disc, which has Woody, Jesse, and Buzz. And then here's the DVD disc, which has the same characters. Still, Toy Story 3 is a phenomenal sequel, one of those rare sequels that lives up to the original. And this was also the last Toy Story film to be directed by John Lasseter, since John Lasseter directed the first Toy Story. And like I said, he also directed A Bug's Life. All right, now, the next Pixar film released was Monsters, Inc. This was released in theaters in November of 2001, uh, just a few months actually after I was born. And this was actually the very first Pixar film I ever saw, believe it or not. And this Blu-ray was released February 19th, 2013, just a few months before the prequel Monsters University was opening in theaters that summer. Yep. And I got this Blu-ray off of eBay back in... I think late January of, the, of 2020. Anyway, as you can see, here's the spine. Back mm, says, visually dazzling, action-packed, and hilarious raves the Boston Herald. Yep. Most features, disc one has, this is a three-disc set. Disc one has featured Disney enhanced home definition, Pixar, Toy Story Tunes, Party Source Rex, For the Bills, Birds short film, Filmmaker's Roundtable, Audio Commentary, Mike's New Car short film. Disc two has... Roz's 100 Door Challenge Game, Pixar Fun Factory Tour, Banished Concepts, and much more. And then the DVD has the audio commentary and the two short films. And this was also the first Pixar film to not be directed by John Lasseter. It was uh, directed by Pete Docter, actually, who is one of, who is now currently the new uh, Chief Creative Officer at Pixar. Here we have the digital Disney Movie Awards code. I've already entered that in. Here's the Blu-ray disc with the movie, which has Mike and Sully. Here's the Blu-ray disc with the bonus features, which also has Mike Sully as well as a few other monsters. And here's the DVD, which again also has Mike and Sully. Yeah, this was released just a few months after they re-released the film in theaters in 3D, which I did see the re-release back in December of 2012, and I, it was really good, actually. Unfortunately, the re-release didn't do so well at the box office, but oh well, what are you going to do? But yeah, Monsters, Inc., great, great, great film. All right, and the next Pixar film released was Finding Nemo. This was released in theaters in May of 2003, and this Blu-ray was released, and this 3D Blu-ray was released December 4th, 2012, just a few months, about three months after they re-released the film in theaters in 3D, which I did see the 3D release opening night back in September of 2012, and I really liked it, actually. The 3D release was really good, and that helped in increase the film box office gross. And I got this Blu-ray at Walmart in Northingstown, Rhode Island, back in... Uh, January of 2014. This is the Ultimate Collector's Edition. This is also one of the first Blu-rays I ever got. Got a nice lenticular slipcover. This is a five-disc Blu-ray set. 
Anyway, as you can see, here's the spine. Back, Winner Academy Award Best Animated Feature Film 2003. Buzz Eater's Disc 1, the 3D Blu-ray, has dived into a whole new dimension, bringing the 3D experience home with Disney Blu-ray Aquarium Disc 2, which is the uh, has the feature Disney Enhanced High Definition Picture and Sound, Aquarium, Cine Explorer Commentary, Revenition, The Submarine Voyage, Delete Scenes, Alternate Opening, a, les a Lesson Flashbacks, Finding Nemo, a Filmmaker's Discussion, the 1989 short film Knickknack. Disc 3 has aquariums, art interviews, outtakes, and delete scenes, and much more. And Disc 4, which is the DVD, has Finding Nemo, a Filmmaker's Discussion, and the Knickknack short film. Yep. And this was the first Pixar film to solely be directed by Andrew Stanton. Although this, like, you know, for him to be the official director, because uh, he was a co the co-director of A Bug's Life. But this is the first Pixar film where he was the main director. And, and this was also the third Pixar film that to be co-directed by Lee Unkrich, because Lee Unkrich, he also co-directed Toy Story 2 and Monsters, Inc. Forgot to mention that. But anyway, here we got the Disney Movie Rewards code and more seats aside. Here's the 3D Blu-ray, which has artwork. You can see Marlin, Dory, Bruce, Scuttle, Crush, all the other turtles, as well as some of the other, the tank game. And I think you can also see Mr. Ray there. Here's the regular Blu-ray disc with the bonus features, which has Marlin, Dory, Crush, and Bruce. Here's the Blu-ray disc with the bonus features, which has Mike, uh, no, sorry, no, it has Marlin, Dory, Nigel, and um, the Seagulls. Here's the DVD disc, which has the same artwork as the Blu-ray disc with the movie. The only difference is that Nemo is on there. And finally, here's the digital copy, which is a standard yellow disc. Yeah, but this 3D Blu-ray Finding Nemo is very good. And yeah, Finding Nemo, it's probably my third favorite Pixar film. Great, 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 great movie. All right, and the next Pixar film released was The Incredibles. This was released in theaters in November of 2004, and this Blu-ray was released June 5th, 2018. It was released just uh, about 10 days, about, uh, I think it was released to promote the sequel, Incredibles 2, which was coming out in theaters 10 days later. Um, now, this is the 4K edition. I got this Blu-ray at Best Buy in Warwick, Rhode Island back in... Um, November of 2018, so I've had this Blu-ray for more than a year and a half. can't believe it's already been that long. Yeah, I wanted to get this as soon as it came out, but fortunately, it wasn't at any Walmart stores, and I couldn't go to other stores because I didn't have my driver's license at the time, and I asked for this for my birthday, and my mom said she, I didn't get it for my birthday because my mom said she looked everywhere but couldn't find it, and then uh, finally, one day in November, I went to Best Buy, and Best Buy start, was selling copies of this 4K Blu-ray, so obviously, I decided to get it. I got this version because I didn't like the regular version because Pixar was doing this thing at the time where they were just doing these regular great these these covers where they were just blank backgrounds with like one character's face on the covers. I, I freaking hate those covers. But this cover here, this is a fantastic cover. I love this cover a lot. So yeah, that's why I got this. And yeah, this is also another fantastic movie. Here we got the spine. Back. It practically pops, pings, and powers off the screen stuff by Neil Pond of Parade. We also got the 4K stuff, and then for the bonus features, we got The Filmmakers Revisited, Filmmakers Roundtable, Jack-Jack Ex Attack Exploded, Bound in Short Film, Interactive, The New Nomadian Island Redevelopment Plan, Paths to Pixar, Story Artist, Studio Stories, Gary's Birthday, and more. Yep. And this was the first Pixar film to, to be directed by somebody who actually does not really work at Pixar. Uh, it was directed by Brad Bird who uh, gained recognition uh, five years earlier for directing The Iron Giant. Unfortunately, Warner, despite that film getting critical acclaim, Warner Brothers did not give that treat, film, uh, treat that film very well, and uh, it flopped at the box office. So because of that, Brad Bird decided to go to Pixar to get them to help him make this movie. Here we have the digital copy code. Here's the 4K Blu-ray disc, which has The Incredible Family, including Mr. Incredible... Elastigirl, Dash, Violet, and Jack-Jack. Here's the regular Blu-ray disc with the movie, which has those same characters. And then there's some stacked discs, because under here is the Blu-ray disc with the bonus features, which you can see Edna Mone. That version, that was actually the disc from the 2011 Blu-ray version. But yeah, this 4K Incredibles, another 
fantastic, fantastic, fantastic movie. Definitely, definitely recommend it. All right, and the next Pixar film released was Cars. This was released in theaters in uh, June of 2006, and this Blu-ray was released. This is a reissue Blu-ray. This came out April 12th, 2011, just a few months before Cars 2 was opening in theaters. There's also a free movie ticket thing. Unfortunately, this is one of only two Pixar Blu-rays I have that does not have a slip cover, but that's all right. I got this Blu-ray at a pawn shop in New London, Connecticut. It was a pawn shop near my dad's work, which also used to be my work. I used to go there a lot, but I haven't been there in quite a few years now. So I went to this pawn shop, and they were selling this Blu-ray for like five bucks, so obviously I picked it up. And anyways, you can see... And this was also the, the first Pixar film since Toy Story 2 to be directed by John Lasseter. Since this was a very personal film to him, you probably know about the story. Here we got the spine... Back an instant classic say by Rachel Core at the time. Unless you just got features in Disney enhanced high definition picture and sound, exclusive Blu-ray bonus, car finder, discover hundreds of car actors in the immersive game, meter on the ghost light short, one man band short, Cine Explorer audio commentary, radiator springs featurettes, inspiration for cars, deleted scenes, and more. And then the DVD has that kind of stuff. This is basically a reissue of the 2007 Blu-ray. And the disc is the original 2006 DB, by the way. Anyway. Here we got the Disney Movie Rewards code. It has this thing where you get a free movie ticket for Cars 2. And also has this thing. Here's the Blu-ray disc, which is the original 2007 Blu-ray, which you can see Lightning McQueen. And then here's the disc, and here's the DVD disc, which is the original 2006 DVD, which has Lightning McQueen and Mater. And Cars is a very underrated movie. I know a lot of people say it's one of the weaker Pixar films, and despite being tw somewhat towards the bottom of my Pixar film list, I do think this is a fantastic film and definitely, definitely underrated. All right, and the next Pixar film released was Ratatouille. This was released in theaters in um, June of 2007. And starting with Cars, really, the the most um, traditional thing is for the Pixar films to have summer releases, with the exception of a couple, which I'll get into later. Um, I got this blurry off of Disney Movie Rewards back in August of 2017, and basically the case is not the slipcover. If you saw my update when I did that, is that this was this also um did not come with the slipcover originally and you saw that i actually ju just got the slipcover just a couple days ago actually i ordered the slipcover off of blu-rays for everyone last month and it, it took quite a few weeks but eventually i got uh, it eventually came in the mail i it was either actually it actually came in the mail uh two days ago which was actually really cool i'm sure you all are happy about that, that i finally got a slipcover if you're happy about it please let me know in the comment center yep Slipcover kind of has a couple very minor rips, but it, it, it's avoidable. Yep, and this was the second Pixar film that Brad Bird directed. Here we got the spine. Back. Unique and Unmissable, stayed by Peter Travers of Rolling Stone. Bonus features got featured Disney enhanced high definition picture and sound. Gusto's Gourmet Game. Help Lugini premiere meals as the orders stack up. Cine Explore, the ultimate behind the scenes experience. Your Friend the Rat. Short film, lifted short film, delete scenes and more, and then DVD has all that. Yeah, the, the Blu-ray disc is the original 2007 Blu-ray, while the DVD disc is also the original 2007 DVD. Oh, and by the way, this Blu-ray, this Blu-ray was released um, July 5th, 2011. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, they reissued this in a couple other Pixar Blu-rays. Anyway, so when I got the Blu-ray in the mail, it came like this. Anyway, here we have the Disney Movie Rewards code. Here's the Blu-ray disc, which is the original 2007 Blu-ray, which has Remy. And here's the DVD disc, which has that same character, which is the original 2007 DVD. Yeah, Ratatouille, awesome movie. Definitely, definitely recommend it. All right, and the next Pixar film released was Wally. -E. This was released in theaters in June of 2008. And this Blu-ray was released November 18th, 2008. And I got this Blu-ray off of eBay around the same time as I got the Monsters, Inc. Blu-ray. And this is the 3-disc Blu-ray and Disney file digital copy version. And... Sorry, just gonna... There's a truck coming by, so... Okay, anyway. This was also um, the very last Pixar film that I 
that this was the very last Pixar film that I did not see in theaters, because starting with the next Pixar film, I've now seen every Pixar film in theaters. Anyways, you can see here's the spine, the back, enthralling and entertaining is to be ritual quarrels of time. Those features the Blu-ray Bernie uh, short film, Cine Explorer commentary with director Andrew Stanton, Geek Track pop-up commentary by Pixar's Geek Squad, the Axum Arcade video games with a Wally Twist, 3D fl set fly-throughs, see film locations through a whole new angle, plus all new DVDs and inclu features including the Pixar story by Leslie Iwerks, the Presto animated theatrical short film, that was the short film that was shown in theaters before this film, animated sound design, building wor worlds from the sound up, lots of bot storybook, beyond that, BNL shorts, making of featurettes, delete scenes, and much more. Yep. Fortunately, there's no inserts on here since it's a used Blu-ray. Here's the Blu-ray disc with the movie, which has Wally and Eve. Here's the Blu-ray disc with the bonus features, which has a couple of the robots. And here's the digital copy, which has some more artwork of the robots. There's some artwork right here. Um, yeah, but still, this Blu-ray of, uh, Wally is very, very good indeed, and Wally, it's, it's a great movie, it's a, I still think it's a fantastic film, but it's not really one of my favorite Pixar films, though, but I still think it's a great movie nonetheless. And, uh, alright, the next Pixar film released was Up! This was released in theaters in May of 2009, and this Blu-ray was released November 10th, 2009. And I got this Blu-ray, I got the case, like, you know, the actual Blu-ray itself at Newbury Comics in Warwick Island uh, back in March, I think. But the slipcover, just like before, I ordered the slipcover off of Blu-rays for everyone, and uh, it came in the mail a couple of days after, and it fits. If I didn't mention the Ratatouille slipcover, I also got off of Blu-rays for everyone. Basically, the only Pixar slipcover that I ordered that didn't, um, that didn't get off of Blu-rays for everyone was uh, the Toy Story 2 one, since that one I got off of eBay. But anyway, back to Up. This was the first Pixar film I saw in theaters, and I'm, and starting from this film, I've seen every Pixar film in theaters. Every Pixar film after this, I've seen in theaters. Yeah, I saw this in theaters with my best friend Luke at the Showcase Cinemas Movie Theater in Warwick Island. The day it came out back on May 29th, 2009. It was a day we prepared for for months, and uh, definitely worth it because uh, I enjoyed the movie. And me and my best friend Luke, we've both been Pixar films. Even before I became a Disney collector, we were always fans of Pixar. And we began this tradition now that whenever a new Pixar film comes out in theaters, me and him go see it together. We've had that tradition set since Inside Out. Because after this film, we didn't really see the next four Pixar films we didn't see in theaters. But, oh well, what are you going to do? Anyways, you can see, here's the spine. Back. Four stars, a wonderful film, saved by Roger Ebert, the Chicago Sun-Times. I just got... Um, Feature film, the, the short film Doug Special Mission, Partly Cloudy Theatrical Short, Cine Explorer Commentary, The Making Up with director Pete Docter and co-director Bob Peterson, The Many Endings of Mutt's Alternate Scenes and more. Disc 2 has exclusive bonus features including a Global Guardian badge game, Merry Life Expanded Character Backstory, eight all-new documentaries including Adventures Out There, Travel to the Real Paradise Falls, and more. Disc 3 has the DVD plus a feature film plus DVD bonus features. Yep, and this was the second animated film in history to be nominated for Best Picture, because the first one was Beauty and the Beast. Open this up. Here we got a digital copy code, and I think for Disney Blu-ray. This promo, and this blank thing. Here's the Blu-ray disc with the movie, which has Carl and Russell. The Blu-ray disc with the bonus feature, which has Kevin and Doug. DVD disc, disc, which has the same characters, and the digital copy, which is a shiny disc. You see, and there's some artwork in the back. Yeah, but still, Up is a fantastic Pixar film. I definitely, definitely recommend it. All right, now we're moving on to the 2010s decade, starting with Toy Story 3, number one animated film of the year. 
Uh, this was released in theaters in June of 2010, and this Blu-ray came out November 2nd, 2010. I got this Blu-ray at Newbury Comics in Warwick, Rhode Island, back on, uh, back in August of 2014, so I've had this Blu-ray for almost six years now. This was a used copy. I'm glad I got this. This was also the first Toy Story Blu-ray I ever got, and it's only one of two that I did not get off of Disney Movie Rewards. Well, up until the release of the up until the Blu-ray release of Toy Story 4, this was the only Toy Story Blu-ray that I actually got at a store, not off of not online. Yep. And this was the first Pixar film that I, this was actually no, the first film I saw in theaters more than once because I saw this film in theaters three times because I, I I really loved the film. Definitely, definitely recommend it. And this was the first Pixar film where to solely just uh to be directed by Lee Unkridge where Lee Unkridge is the official director because he co-directed Toy Story 2, Monsters, Inc. and Finding Nemo. So this was the first Pixar film where he was the official sole director. Anyways, you can see here's the spine. And this is the only Toy Story film that Lee Unkridge sole directed. Anyway, the back, an instant classic, a stayed by Rachel Kors of Time Magazine. And its biggest, it's the biggest, best, most exciting Toy Story of them all, Raves Access Hollywood, Scott May Mance. My just got featured Disney enhanced high definition picture and sound, day and night theatrical short film, Buzz Lightyear Mission Logs, this, The Science of Adventure, to Toy Story, uh, the Blu ray bonus has Toy Story Trivia Dash, uh, interactive game, Sin Explorer commentary with director Lee Unkrich and producer Darla K. Anderson, beginning settings, a story in motion, Bonnie's Playtime, a story round table with director Lee Unkrich, round then up, a western opening, Beyond the Toy Box, an alternate commentary track. Three Paths of Pixar, editorial, three studio stories, plus much more, and then the DVD has all those bonus features. And this was the third Pix and this was the third animated film after Beauty and the Beast and Up to be nominated for Best Picture. And it's currently the last Pix it's currently the last animated film to do that. Because since this film, no other animated film has been nominated for Best Picture. Anyway, we got these promos and the Disney Movie Awards. Here's the Blu-ray disc with the movie, which has Woody, Buzz, Bullseye, Jesse, Rex, one of the Squeeze Tour aliens, Slinky Dog, Lotso, Barbie, and Ken. Here's the Blu-ray disc with the bonus features, which has um, the Bookworm, uh, Dolly, Buttercup, Trixie, Mr. Pricklepants, Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head, Three Peas in a Pods, the Octopus, I don't remember her name, and uh, I think his name is Chucks or something. Here's the DVD disc, which is a holographic disc, which has Woody, Buzz, Jesse, one of the Squeeze Tour aliens, Rex, Lotso, Bullseye, Slinky Dog, and Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. And here's the digital copy, which is a yellow disc. Yeah, Toy Story 3, awesome, awesome, awesome movie. Definitely, definitely recommended. Okay, next up we have an infamous one. Cars 2. This was released in June of 2011, and this Blu-ray came out November 1st, 2011. And this is the 3D edition. This I got at Walmart in North Kingstown, Rhode Island, back in February of 2014. I know many people put this, like to say that this is probably the number one worst Pixar film. I kind of actually disagree. I actually like this movie more than the first film. I don't know, because maybe because it's the spy aspect and all, because I do like spy movies. Honestly, if you, the reason... Just want to know, this film was not a cash grab, like some people say it was. The film actually had a very, very troubled production. If you go into research about it, this film actually had a pretty rough production. There was story problems, a release date switch, and a last-minute director change. Because this film was directed by John Lasseter, and this is also the last Pixar film to be directed by John Lasseter. Initially, it was going to be directed by Brad Lewis, and it was going to come out in the summer of 2012. But then there were all these story problems and everything, and because then the release date was moved ahead to summer 2011. More story problems happened, and then Brad Lewis became a co-director, and John Lasseter took over as the director. Yeah. Anyway, but I, I still, I really liked this film. Anyway, here we got the spine. Back, even better than before, raves Peter Travers of Rolling Stone. Well, this, just, this is another five to set. Uh, disc, disc two, um... Uh, the 3D Blu-ray just has your Immerse Yourself and Disc 2 has Blu-ray feature film and bonus features. Uh, the cartoon short Air Mater and the Hawaiian Vacation Theatrical Short Director's Commentary. Disc 2 has sneak peeks at the nuts and bolts of Cars Land World Tour. All these locations and the DVD has all those short films and the, the commentaries.
Yeah, a lot of people say this is probably the worst Pixar film, but I, I disagree. I actually like this. This is not my least favorite Pixar film. Here we got the um, digital copy, the Disney Movie Rewards code, and this thing. Here's the 3D Blu-ray, which has all the characters in there. Here's the regular Blu-ray disc with the movie, which has Lightning McQueen, Mater, Finn McMissile, and Holly Schiffwell. Here's the Blu-ray disc with the bonus feature, which has Lightning McQueen, Mater, and Finn McMissile. Here's the DVD disc, which has the same characters. And then here's the digital copy disc, which is a shiny yellow disc. Despite the film getting mixed reviews, it's the only it's also the only Pixar film to have a rotten rating on Rotten Tomatoes. It still did well at the box office. It's the highest grossing film in the franchise in the series and made more than 500 500 million dollars worldwide. But yeah, Cars 2, I really enjoyed this film. Next up, we move on to my least favorite Pixar film, Brave. This was released in theaters in June of 2012 and this Blu-ray was and this Blu-ray came out no, November 13th, 2012. This I uh, is my least favorite Pixar film. Some people might put this as maybe their second least favorite or probably in their bottom four or five least favorite Pixar films, but this is my number one least favorite. I don't know. It just it feels like a DreamWorks film, to be honest. Pixar has outdone itself in its visual magic and vivid storytelling by Peter Travers of Rolling Stone. It's just that some of the designs in the backgrounds, they look like backgrounds from like How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah, it's kind of interesting, but anyway. Anyways, as you can see, here's the spine. Back. Brave is a rousing, gorgeous, animated good time, raves Peter Travers of Rolling Stone. On this feature, disc one of the Blu-ray has a La Luna, The Legend of Mordu, Rave Old World, Merida and Eleanor, Bears, Brawl in the Hall, Wonder Moss, Magic, Clean Pixar, once Upon a Scene, Extended Scenes, Audio Commentary, Alternate Opening, Fallen Warriors, um, Dirty Hairy People, It Is English, Sort of, Angus, The Tapestry, Promotional Pieces, Art Gallery, and much more. And uh, Disc 3 has the audio commentary and the two short films. I do know that this film had a, actually had a troubled production, and it kind of tells... This film was originally started off as a project. It was going to be directed by Brenda Chapman. It was called The Bear and the Bow, which honestly, I think we, that is a much, much, much better title than Brave. And then apparently there's some creative differences and um, Brenda Chapman left and uh, halfway through production and then uh, Mark Andrews took over directing duties to help finish the movie. And he made some changes to the movie. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of what caused Brenda Chapman to actually leave Pixar, because apparently the, the movie we got was not the movie she intended to make. Well, anyway, this is the only Pixar film that I'm not too crazy about, but aside from that, I love all their other films. Here we got the Disney Movie Rewards Code. Here's the 3D Blu-ray, which has Merida. Oh, and by the way, I got this Blu-ray at Walmart in North Kingston, Rhode Island, back in December of 2013. I got it the day after Christmas. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Here's the regular Blu-ray disc with the bonus feature, which has, again has Merida. Uh, here's the Blu-ray disc with the bonus features, which has the uh, Fergus, the Queen, and her three silent and Meredith's three silent brothers. And here's the DVD disc, which has those same characters. And then here's the digital copy, which is a plain yellow disc. Yeah, but Brave, honestly, to me, it's it's an all right movie. Could have been better, in my opinion. But what are you gonna do? All right. The next Pixar film released was Monsters University. This was uh, released in June of 2013, and um, this Blu-ray came out October 29th, 2013. Got this Blu-ray at Walmart in North Kingston Island back on November 1st of that year. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention for seeing films in theaters, Cars 2. This was I saw this film in theaters with my sister Michaela at the Entertainment Center's movie theater in S South Kingston around. This was back on June 25th, the day at, right after it came out. And uh, for Brave, uh, I saw this in theaters again with my sister Michaela at the Entertainment Center's movie theater. This was back in late June 2012. It was the day right after it came out. I, I don't remember what the exact date was. And for Monsters University, I saw this in film in theaters twice, actually. The first time I saw this with my dad, because Monsters, Inc. is my dad's favorite Pixar film. And um, 
I saw this in theaters with him and a woman he was dating at the time at the Showcase Cinemas movie theater next to the Warwick Mall. He saw us back on opening day, June 21st, 2013. That was actually my last day of fifth grade. That was the day, my last day of elementary school, believe it or not. <laughs> I know time flies. It says, hilarious and heartwarming to my Christian Nash Wadi of Entertainment Weekly. This is Pixar's first and only prequel. And this is actually my fifth... I actually thought this film was a little better than Monsters University. Unfortunately, this slipcover is very, very worn out because this was my second Blu-ray ever, so I watched it a lot. The top part is a little cracked there, but it's okay. The discs still work fine. Anyway, here's the spine. This is also an Ultimate Collector's Edition. Back, yeah, slipcover is pretty worn out. No critic review. Well, you just got the Blue and Belt, Barella Theatrical Short, Audio Commentary, Campus Life, Story School, Scare Gains, Monthropology, um... Welcome to MU, Music Appreciation, Scare Tactics, Color and Light, Paths of Pixar, MU Edition, Furry Monsters, Deleted Scenes, Set Fly-Throughs, Arc Alley, and Promo Picks. And this was the very first Pixar film to be directed by Dan Scantlin. Can I open this up? I actually kept the receipt. We got this thing and the Disney Movie Rewards. That was actually the very first Disney Movie Rewards code I ever entered because I opened my Disney Movie Rewards account shortly after I got it. There's the, there's the, there's the receipt. Yeah. From November 1st, 2013. <laughs> yeah, if you want to go ahead and look at it, go ahead. Anyway, here's the 3D Blu-ray disc, which has Mike and Sully. Here's the regular Blu-ray disc with the bonus features, which has Mike, Sully, the little pig, and all the other MU students. Here's the Blu-ray disc with the bonus features, which has Mike, Sully, Archie the Scare Pig, and um, all the other members of Ooz Macapa. And here's the DVD disc, which has Mike and Sully. Yeah, but Monsters University, really, really, really good movie. I definitely really enjoyed it. I know a lot of people put the, say Monsters University is one of their least favorite Pixar films, but I really liked it. All right, and next up we have Inside Out. This was this came out in theaters in um, June of 2015, and this Blu-ray came out uh, November 3rd, 2015. If I... Uh, but I didn't mention that the, the Monsters University Blu-ray, this came out October 29th, 2013. I think I might have mentioned that, but I'm just mentioning this again in case I, in case I didn't. But like, like I said, this Blu-ray even said, this came out, and this Blu-ray came out no November 3rd, 2015. And I got this Blu-ray at a Walmart store uh, in Orlando, Florida. This is when I was taking my, my vacation back at the beginning of December of 2015. Yeah, it took me a while to get it. One of the best movies of the year, by Richard Rober, the Chicago Sun-Times. Anyway, um, here's the spine. Back. Uh, Peter Travers of Rolling Stone calls a burst of pure imagination and an instant classic raves Richard Roper of the Chicago Sun-Times. You got all new Riley's first date short film, lava short film, story of the story. Join director Pete Doctor and the crew as they walk you through the process in finding his story, Paths to Pixar, The Woman of Inside Out. Mixed emotions follow the filmmakers as they personify the emotions. Mapping the mind, explore the fascinating workings of our minds, our dads, the filmmakers, into the unknown, the sound of Inside Out. The, mis the, the misunderstood art of animation film editing. Oh, and there's also another cr critic review. Brilliant, a masterpiece to stay by Scott Mance of Access Hollywood. Sorry, I didn't see that there. Anyway, this is just the regular three-disc set. Here we got the digital copy code right there. Here's the Blu-ray disc with the movie, which has joy, sadness, disgust, anger, and fear. Here's the Blu-ray disc with the bonus features, which has Bing Bong and Riley as a toddler. And here's the DVD disc, which has the same characters as the Blu-ray disc with the bonus features. Yeah, but Inside Out, really, really, really good movie. Definitely recommend it. Here we got another infamous one. The next Pixar film release was The Good Dinosaur. This was released in theaters in November of 2015, and this Blu-ray came out February 23rd, 2016. This marked the first time that Pixar released two films in the same year. Another Pixar gem that trends by Scott Mance of Access Hollywood. And I got this Blu-ray at Walmart in North King Sound, Rhode Island back in the beginning of May of 2016. I know, it took me over... More than two months for me to get it, but I finally did. And from the careers of Inside Out, we know this film went through a big trouble production. There was like story problems, like 
there was like a the, it got delayed sort of like you know partway through the last minute because it was supposed to come out actually May thirtieth two thousand fourteen. It was going to be directed by Bob Peterson. Apparently there were some problems. He couldn't crack the film's third act, and there were all these problems. And then he left, and the film was delayed to November twenty fifth two thousand fifteen. That was when Finding Dory was supposed to come out, but then Finding Dory got delayed to June sixteenth, no, June seventeenth, two thousand sixteen, and then uh, there was some more. Like they changed the cast, and then Peter Sohn took over as the new director, and the film was apparently completely reworked. I'm actually interested interested in seeing what Bob Peterson's version would have looked like, and this is one of my least favorite Pixar films, but I still found it enjoyable nonetheless. Here we got the spine, back, fun, funny, and. Epically Adventurous, to by Marcus Allen of CBS. Most you just got the filmmaker's journey. Director Peter Sohn and the team share their experience of making the movie. Hide and seek, watch a short animated promotional clip. True lies about dinosaurs, learn what separates the movie's dinosaurs from real ones. Recyclopolis, the group competes to create the best dinosaur ever from discarded items. Every part of the dinosaur, explore the movie's special animation challenges. Meet the family who inspired the T-Rex ranchers. Delete scenes with intros, view scenes developed from previous versions of the movie, and more. Yep. Oddly enough, this is only just a two-disc set. You got the digital copy code. Here's the here's the Blu-ray disc, disc, which has Arlo and Spot, and here's the DVD disc. I I, I don't know why they didn't do Blu-ray disc with the movie and Blu-ray disc with the bonus features. Why they only did two discs? I thought maybe it was because of uh, my theory was either they decided to change things up a bit and now decided to just do two disc only. But we know that's not true because then all the other ones got two disc. I thought maybe because of how. It, it came out three months after the after the theatrical release that they didn't have time to do two more bonus features, but the Blu-ray of Coco, which I'll show later, proved that otherwise. So, I don't know. Maybe they just weren't confident enough with this. I don't know. It's kind of weird how they just did it for this one release. But The Good Dinosaur is not a bad film. I liked it. Up until the release of Onward, this was Pixar's lowest grossing film. But still enjoyable nonetheless. It's still got good reviews. All right, and next up we have quite a few sequels, and but but we do also have two originals. Next up we have the next Pixar film release was Finding Dory. This was released in theaters in June of 2016, and this Blu-ray came out um, November 15, 2016. And by the way, sorry I keep forgetting to mention this. Uh, the Inside Out. I saw this in theaters with my best friend Luke at the Showcase Cinemas Movie Theater in Warwick, Rhode Island, back on June 20th. Uh, the day right after it came out. And starting with this, me and Luke began this tradition of seeing every Pixar film together. And The Good Dinosaur, I saw this in theaters uh, three days after it came out uh, on Thanksgiving weekend. I think it was November 28th, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And Finding Dory, I saw this in theaters twice, actually. The first time I actually went with my sister and her boyfriend uh, on opening night, uh, June 17th, two thousand. 16 and we saw it in 3d it was a late night showing after that was actually the day my last day of middle school <laughs> it's weird monsters university came out on my last day of uh elementary school and this came out on my last day of uh yeah monsters university came out on my last day of elementary school and this came out on my last day of middle school and this and then i saw it again a week later with with luke at the same theater the only difference is with when i saw it with bridget uh, with my sister bridget we saw it in 3d with when i saw it with luke it was just 2d but I still, uh, this is actually a pretty good film, but I do admit it's probably my least favorite Pixar film. Not not least, least favorite Pixar sequel, excuse me. This is not, this is not, I mean, sure, it's towards the bottom of my favorite Pixar film list, but it's, it's not my least favorite Pixar film at all. Like I said, it, my least favorite Pixar film is Brave. And like I said, this Blu-ray came out November 15, 2016. I got this Blu-ray at Walmart in Northenstein, Rhode Island, uh, the day it came out. Here we got the spine. Back Perfect may be an understatement as stated by Marcus Allen of CBS TV. Oh, you got all new uh, mini short, uh, let's see, all new mini short Marine Life interviews, the short film Piper animation and acting, a look at the art of creating a deep and profound connection between an audience and a fish, the octopus that nearly broke Pixar, deep in the kelp, casual carpool, go along the, for the ride as writer and director Andrew Stan drive the cast to work because Andrew Stan did return to direct this film. What we are talking about showcase the complex roots, story, story look, creature features, delete scenes, and more. Yep.
Here we have the digital copy code and then I think for Disney Movie Club. Here's the 3D Blu-ray, which has Marlin, Dory, Nemo, Hank, and a few other the fish keepers. I think you can also see Bailey the whale. Here's the Blu-ray disc with the bonus features, which has all those same characters. Here's the Blu-ray disc with the bonus features, which has Marlin, Dory, and Nemo. And here's the DVD disc, which has, again, all those same characters. Yeah, Finding Dory, like I said, it's not a bad film. I really do, really do love this film, but like I said, it's probably my least favorite Pixar sequel. It was pretty flawed. I think it could have been better, but for what it's worth, still very enjoyable. All right, the next Pixar film released was Cars 3. This came out in theaters in June of 2017, and this Blu-ray came out November 7th, 2017. I got this Blu-ray at Walmart in North Kingstown, Rhode Island, the day right after it came out. Uh, I got it November 8th, 2017. This is currently the last Pixar... Uh, actually, no, I said it back. No, it's not. Um, I was going to say that this was the last Pixar Blu-ray that I didn't get on the day it came out, but I just forgot. No, I didn't get Onward on, it, on the day it came out, so... That was a lie. Uh, yeah, I couldn't get it the day it came out because I had Driver's Ed that day. But I got it the day right after that. This was the first Pixar film to be released on 4K. I I don't know. Unfortunately, I didn't get the 4K. I, I don't know why. I, I think I should have. A pure Pixar delights to be Sean Mulvin of the fanboynation.com. Yep. All, includes all new mini-movie. This was the first... Um, Pixar film, to, this was the first Cars film to not be directed by John Lasseter. It was directed by Brian Fee, who was a storyboard artist on the first two films. Yep. Fortunately, this was the lowest grossing film in the series. It only made about $383 million, probably because it had quite a few competition. Like, it was released just, I think it was released two weeks after Wonder Woman came out. It was also released five days before Transformers, The Last Night. And then, as well as two weeks before Despicable Me 3 came out, and three weeks before Spider-Man Homecoming came out. Also had a couple of competition from other films like Captain Underpants and Baby Driver, those kinds of things. So I wish it could have done better at the box office, but what are you going to do? Here we got The Spine. Back, Inspiring for All Ages, did by Scott Mance of We Live Entertainment. For us, we just got... Let's get crazy, get schooled in the world of Demolition Dury, the rules of figure eight racing, and how Pixar puts the crazy in the Thunder Hollow Crazy Eight race. The Lou short film, exclusive all-new mini-movie, Miss Fritter's Racing School. Uh, Cruz Ramirez, the yellow car that could. Generation, the story of Cars 3, delete scenes, and more. Yep. Yeah, and this was the first... I, I saw this in theaters uh, with my best friend Luke at the showcase for this movie theater in Workaround. We saw it the day right after it came out, uh, June 17th. And then I saw it again a couple days later because I liked it so much. It was the first time since Monsters University that I walked out of a Pixar film completely satisfied. I mean, I was satisfied when I walked out of Inside Out, Good Dinosaur, and Finding Dory. But I feel like there was like there were one of those. Uh, I had a few problems with, with Cars Three. wasn't like that at all. Many people do. Uh, this was actually my favorite of the trilogy, and some people might disagree with that. But a lot of people say it was definitely an improvement over Cars Two. And despite the fact that I liked Cars Two more than Cars One, I do admit that Cars Three this definitely felt like the true sequel to the first Cars. Unfortunately, you've got the digital copy code in this thing. And fortunately, Pixar is doing stacked disc. Here's the Blu-ray disc with the movie, which has Lightning McQueen, Cruz Ramirez, and Jackson Storm. Here's the Blu-ray disc with the bonus features, which you can see the back of Jackson Storm, as well as Lightning McQueen and Cruz Ramirez. And the DVD disc, which has like Lightning McQueen and Cruz Ramirez. Still, Cars 3, really, really, really good movie. I definitely, definitely recommend it. Okay, the next Pixar film release was Coco. Coco, uh, this came out in theaters in November of 2017. This marked the second time that Pixar film released two films in the same year. And this Blu-ray came out February 27th, 2018. Like I said, this came out in theaters in November of 2017. And this came out February 27th, 2018. Got this Blu-ray at Walmart in North Kingston, Rhode Island, the day it came out. The best animated film feature of the year today by Dwight Brown of Huffington Post. This was a fantastic film. I definitely, definitely, this is in my top, this is in my top 10 favorite Pixar films, just Really, 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 really good movie. And it says Golden Globe winner, best animated motion picture. Because at the time, um, I think that by the time they, they were manufacturing these Blu-rays, this won the Golden Globe, and they they uh, hadn't won the Academy Award yet. 
Anyway, as you can see, here's the spine. Back, a masterpiece today by Drew Taylor of Movie Phone. Most users get over two hours of bonus, including commentary, deleted scenes, paths to Pixar, Coco, the music of Coco, and more. And this was the last Pixar film that Lee Unkrich directed, because we know a year later he then retired from Pixar to spend time with his family. I'm going to open this up. Here we got the uh, Disney Movie Rewards and I think for Disney Movie Club. Here we got the disc. Here's the Blu-ray disc with the movie, which has Miguel and Hector. Here's the Blu-ray disc with the uh, with the bonus features, which has Peta. And here's the DVD, which has uh, Miguel, Hector, and Dante. Yeah, Coco, awesome, awesome, awesome film. Definitely, definitely recommend it. All right, and next, the next Pixar film release was... Oh, and... Uh, I saw this in theaters with my best friend Luke at the Showcase Cinema's Movie Theater War Ground. I saw it um, just two days after Thanksgiving, that Thanksgiving weekend. And um, so the next picture I found released was Incredibles 2. This came out in theaters in June of 2018, and this Blu-ray came out uh, November 6, 2018. And I saw this film in theaters with my best friend Luke at the Showcase Cinema's Movie Theater War Ground. We saw it... Um, the day right after it came out, back on June 16th. And uh, all new mini movie, Auntie Edna. And I got this Blu-ray at Walmart in North Concern, Rhode Island, the day it came out. And this is also my la the last Pixar film that I did not get on 4K. I, I was going to get the 4K version, but unfortunately Walmart didn't have it, so I ended up having to get this. And Walmart was doing this dumb thing at the time where, for the first couple months, whenever a regular Blu-ray comes out, it would just say Blu-ray, or it would, wouldn't have the digital copy thing on there. It would just say either Blu-ray or Blu-ray and DVD. So that's why here it only just says Blu-ray and DVD, not Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy. That's kind of annoying, but oh well. At least I still got the, the Blu-ray disc. That's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, this was an awesome sequel. Very satisfying indeed. Definitely worth the 14-year wait. Anyways, you can see here's the spine. Back, worth the wait. Stay by U.S. Weekly, and it really is incredible. Stay by Peter Travers of Rolling Stone. Well, this just got 10 deleted scenes, ideas from the cutting room floor, heroes and villains. Super Baby, Strong Coffee, Lesson Information with Brad Bird, because Brad Bird did direct, did return to direct this film. He also wrote it. Super Stuff, Making bu making Bow, and more. And it has the two shorts, Auntie Edna, and the short film that was shown before the film in theaters, Bow. Yep. Open this up. So we have the initial copy code. Here's the Blu-ray disc with the bonus feature. No, here's the Blu-ray disc with the movie. Sorry, here's the Blu-ray disc with the movie, which has... The Incredible Family, including Mr. Incredible, Elastigirl, Violet, Dash, Jack-Jack, the Raccoon, all the other heroes there, and, and Namone. Here's the Blu-ray disc with the bonus features, which has Frozone. And here's the DVD disc, which has Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl. Yeah, but still, this Incredibles 2, awesome, awesome sequel. Definitely recommended. All right. The last feat... Uh, actually, wait, no. This is the last sequel in here. This is Toy Story 4, and this is the Best Buy exclusive steelbook. This came out in theaters in June of 2019, and this Blu-ray came out October 8th, 2019. As you all know, got this at Best Buy in Warwick, Rhode Island, the day it came out. This is the Best Buy exclusive steelbook. I did this because I actually like this cover a lot. This is also the final film in the Toy Story series. We know this film went through a ton, a really tunnel, just like the good dinosaur and cars do. This film had a very, very troubled production. There was story problems. Uh, they also had to change, they rewrote the script as well as then change the directors because John Lasseter was supposed to direct this film and Josh Cooley, who was one of the writers on Inside Out, was going to co-direct, but then problems happened John Lasseter was too busy as chief career officer and then he later left Pixar because of the sexual allegations and so Josh Cooley who was going to be co-director took over as the sole director and they rewrote the script the film got delayed twice it was supposed to come out June 16th 2017 and then they delayed it to June 15th 2018 while the 2017 release date was given to Cars 3 and then Incredibles 2 was going to come out June 21st 2019 but then in the production of Toy Story fell, 4 fell behind schedule, so then 
it swapped release dates with Incredibles 2. Anyway, this was a really good movie. I, I saw this in, this, this is the Pixar, the Pixar film I've seen the most times in theaters. I saw this in theaters four times. Because the first time I saw it, I saw it in theaters with, uh, the first time I saw it opening day with my best friend Luke. And then I saw it three other times. Sometimes I saw it two other times with my family and then one other time by myself. Anyway, here we got the spine. Back. Four stars to by Richard Roper of the Chicago Sun-Times. And Toy Story 4 will blow you away. Stay by Kenneth Turner of the Los Angeles Times. Once you've got deleted scenes, Bo rebooted, Toy Stories, Woody and Buzz, Toy Box, Let's Ride with Ally Mackey, and more. Yep. Like I said, that this is the only Toy Story film to be directed by Josh Cooley. Here we got the spine, and here's the back. Okay, here we got the digital copy code. Here's the Blu-ray disc with the movie, which has Woody, uh, Buzz, Bo Peep, and Giggle McDimples. Here's the 4K Blu-ray, which has Ducky and Bunny. And here's the Blu-ray disc with the bonus features, which has Duke Kaboom. Yep, and there's some artwork in the back. You can see Buzz, Ducky, and Bunny. And on the, on the back, you can also see Forky. Yep. Yep, Toy Story 4, very good. Although I think it's the weakest film in the series, I think I still thought it was fantastic. All right. And the last feature film I have is Onward. This came out in theaters in March of 2020, and this Blu-ray came out May 19th, 2020. Got this Blu-ray at Target and Warwick Island a couple days after it came out. I think either it was the day right after it came out or two days after it came out. This is the Target exclusive Digibook version. I got this version. I do not do crazy on the cover, but unfortunately, um, yeah, unfortunately that uh, the regular Blu-ray had no slip cover. I don't know why, but I do have a theory is that unfortunately this was Pixar's lowest grossing film. This film was not in the theaters for very long because this came out, I believe, March 4th. March 6, 2020, and unfortunately over only made $104 million worldwide because at the time the, the coronavirus was really becoming a pandemic and a week and a half after the film came out in theaters, all the movie theaters shut down. So a couple weeks after that, it was moved to streaming services. And then at the end of March, they released it on Disney+. Plus. So yeah, <clears throat> it's kind of a bummer. But, and I got this blurry because I thought, why not? Despite the fact that I have Disney+. Plus. So, unfortunately, there was no slipcover. So, my theory is probably because of how this Blu-ray, since this Blu-ray came out back in May, I'm sure it probably was released on Blu-ray a lot earlier than they expected it would. So, I guess they probably just didn't have time to make the slipcovers. That's my guess, but what are you going to do? Anyway, as you can see, here's the spine. Back, emotional and action packs by Brian Trunt of USA Today. Well, just got the lead scenes, quest for the story, discover director Dan Scanlon's personal connection with the characters. Heart's Fire, Creating the Magic of Onward, Dragon High, Crafting the Epic Battle Scene, Wizard Rock, Bringing the Musical Score to the Screen, and more. Yep. And I'm going to take this up. And... Comes with a book. So here's what the regular Blu-ray would look like. So you could get when you buy it in stores, if you'd only you would only get this version. You got no slip cover, so I'm guessing they just didn't have the time to make the slip cover. So anyway, here we got the digital copy code. Here's the 4K Blu-ray, which has the van. Here's the Blu-ray disc with the movie, which has Ian and Barley. And here's the Blu-ray disc with the bonus features, which has the Manticore.
Anyway, still onward. Really, really, really good movie. All right, now that's all the feature films. Now we're doing on going on to the short films collections. Okay, and this first one is Pixar Short Films Collection Volume One. This came out out uh, November 6, two thousand seven. I got this Blu-ray at Newbury Comics in Warwick Island back on my 17th birthday, back on July 30th, 2018. So I can't believe I've already had this for a year now. Yep. You know, I do have this this uh, volume on DVD. I actually have two copies of it on DVD. Here we got the spy. Back, brilliant. Bring home the ultimate high-definition experience. This has the short films. The Adventures of Andre and Wally B, Luxo Jr., Red's Dream, Tin Toy, Knick Knack, Jerry's Game, For the Birds, Mike's New Car, Boundin, Jack-Jack Attack, One Man Band, Mater and the Ghost Light, and Lifted. Here we got the Disney Movie Rewards Code and this thing for Disney Blu-ray. And then here's all the chapter index. And here's the Blu-ray disc, which has the Luxo lamp. Here's some artwork up in the back. Here's uh, Pixar Short Films Collection Volume 1. If you can come across this, I definitely recommend you buy it. It's definitely worth a purchase. All right, next up is Pixar Short Films Collection Volume 2. This came out November 13th, 2012, the same day that uh, the Blu-ray of Brave came out. I got this off of Disney Movie Rewards back in July of 2015. I know it, it took me almost two and it took me more than two and a half years to get this, but at least I finally got it. And I can't believe I've already, already I've now had this I now. I've had this for about five years now. Time flies. Anyways, you can see here's the spine. Back. This has the shorts Your Friend the Rat, Presto, Bernie, Partly Cloudy, Doug's Special Mission, George and AJ, Day and Night, Hawaiian Vacation, Air Mater, Small Fry, Time Travel Mater, and La Luna. Also has filmmaker commentaries, the shorts student films of Pixar directors John Lasseter, Andrew Stan, and Pete Doctor. Direct uh, the short films by. Uh, John Lasseter, are Nightmare and Lady and the Tramp, and Pete Doctor, Winter, Palm Springs, and Next Door, and Andrew Stanton, uh, Somewhere in the Attic, and A Story. Here we have the Disney Movie Rewards Code. Here's the Blu-ray disc, and here's the DVD disc. You can see Buzz, Doug, the Cloud from the Partly Cloudy Short, and the, the Kid from the La Luna Short. On both, You can see them on both of those discs. Yep, this is another great volume to add to your collection. All right, the last volume we got is Pixar Short Films Collection Volume 3. This came out um, November 13th, 2018, just exactly six years after Volume 2 came out. And I got this blurry at Best Buy in Warwick, Rhode Island, the day right after November 14th. Yep, here we got the spine. Back, got filmmaker commentaries, making Bo and creating a horrible way of saying I love you. This has the shorts, Boo, oh no, no, it has the shorts, uh, the the Party Source Rex, The Legend of Mordu, uh, The Blue Umbrella, Party Central, The Radiator Springs 500 and a half, Lava, Riley's First Date, Sanjay's Super Team, Piper, Lou, and Bow, or, or, yeah, Bow. Also has Marine Life Interviews and Miss Fritter's Racing School. Open this up. We got the digital movie rewards and this thing. Here's the Blu-ray disc, which has the the mother from Bow, the uh, Rex and the Party Source Rex, the 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 bird from the Piper Shore and the volcano from the Lava Shore, and then here's the DVD, which has the Luxo lamp. Yeah, Pixar Short Films Collection Volume 3, awesome set. All right, now we're moving on to the last two are the two Toy Story TV specials. First up, we have Toy Story of Terror. This is, unfortunately, there was no slipcover for this. I got this Blu-ray at Best Buy in Warwick, Rhode Island uh, last week. And um, this special first debuted on ABC back in October of 2013. And this Blu-ray came out 
August 19th, 2014, which I did see, I did um, watch this on its uh, premiere night, and I have been watching it on ABC every, every Halloween since then. This is a great television special. Anyway, as you can see, here's the spine. Back, no critic review on the back. Unless you've got vintage toy commercials, delete scenes, audio commentary, and team of specialists. And this has uh, the, the three Toy Story short, uh, Toon Shorts, Small Fry, Hawaiian Vacation, and Party Source Rex. Here we got the digital cop copy code and everything. Here's the Blu-ray disc, which as always, you can see Woody, Buzz, Jack, uh, Jesse, Rex, Trixie, Mr. Prickle Pants, and Mr. Potato Head. And um, yeah, Toy Story of Terror, awesome, awesome, awesome TV special. Definitely can't wait to watch this again this October. And the last item we have in the collection is Toy Story That Time Forgot. This was a television special release, first aired on ABC in December of 2014, and this Blu-ray came out November 23rd, 2015, the same day that Inside Out came to Blu-ray. And this, I got this Blu-ray at Newbury Comics in Warwick, Rhode Island, back in October. And this is a good Christmas special. I don't think it's as great as Toy Story of Terror. I actually got to rewatch it, because actually I've only seen this special like three times, and that was it. Unlike Toy Story of Terror, which I've seen it several, I've seen that several times. But anyway, here we got the spine. Back. You'll laugh until you burst it by movie phone. Well, you've got all new Battlesaurus animated opening for the fictional TV series. Reptiles, Origins of the Battlesaurus World. Toy Story goes to Comics Con. My unexpected friend karaoke video. Delete scenes, commentary, and more. Yep. Here we go, the digital copy code and a uh, thing for Disney Movie Club. Here's the Blu-ray disc, which has Woody, Buzz, Rex, Trixie, the, the Christmas ornament there, and that guy, I don't remember his name. But still, Toy Story of Time Forgot, still a good Christmas special to watch nonetheless. And there you go. That is my entire Pixar Blu-ray collection. I hope you all enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed uh, making it. And I will see you all for my next video coming soon.